Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Anastasia Manuliak. Um, I am uh, head of visual arts at the Ukrainian Institute. We are uh, co-organizers of this event together with ArtsLink. Uh, and uh, I'm happy to start this event today. Uh, I have to say that now when Ukrainian cultural heritage is in constant danger uh, because of uh, shellings and bombings uh, by Russia, Ukrainian art gains a special meaning and uh, relevance. And uh, since the full-scale invasion of Russia in February, on February 24th, uh, many artists in Ukraine and many art professionals had to change from their professional and artistic practices to military, became brilliant volunteers, and Ukrainian uh, cultural society is defending its agency and the right to speak up on the cultural battlefield in Ukraine and abroad. And for the Ukrainian Institute, an institution that is affiliated to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Ukraine and is representing Ukrainian culture internationally, these processes are especially visible and important. Therefore, when we have been invited to co-curate and co-organize this event, it was obvious for us that we would like to focus on uh, building, uh, establishing, and maintaining connections within Ukrainian art community. And I'm very happy to see many familiar faces in this room and that we actually managed to gather all of you here to share and to co-experience this. Uh, I would like to thank ArtsLink for initiating this idea, for um, helping and supporting us, and for understanding the importance of Ukrainian art and culture nowadays. Uh, I would also like to thank uh, Oyazdowski Castle for their hospitality and their support. Uh, my thanks also goes to Goethe Institute and to Unica Fund for their support and um, their confidence in the um, uh, importance of this event, uh, and uh, um, especially to the curatorial team uh, for our hours of inspiring and meaningful discussions and for uh, this enormous su uh, support and efforts that we took. And I would like to pass the floor to, to you and let me introduce everyone who had been working on this. Uh, Anna Gaidai, uh, Yulia Kostareva, Maria Volchonok, uh, Yuri Kruchak, Andri Dostliv, and Lia Dostliva. And uh, I would like to pass the floor to you. Uh, and before I do that, I would also like to thank all of you, to all of the Ukrainian artists, art professionals, to our international guests for being here today, and for everyone who is defending Ukrainian art and culture uh, internationally and uh, fighting for, for Ukraine and for Ukrainian agency. Thank you, and the floor is yours. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Lia Dostliv. I think uh, we will be uh, speaking in Ukrainian. Yeah. Uh, good, good morning. I would like to thank to all of you who are present here, and it's very uh, happy, great happiness to see uh, such a big team of people here and to host such a big group of people here during such difficult times. And we have called this conference Green Grass. Uh, and it's a question with a question mark because basically we don't know where the grass is greener and what it means the grass is greener and should we define where the grass is greener. Therefore, we would like to use this occasion and for these three days we would like to talk and to discuss what is going on, what we can do, in what direction we can move on. And I would like to thank to everyone who is present here and I would like to thank the armed forces of Ukraine because due to them we are able to have such uh, meetings. So, to my colleagues. Good afternoon, my name is Anna. I'm very glad to see all of you. I'm very glad to be here. And I would like to thank, uh, to give a big thank you to the team of curators because uh, it was a big pleasure to work with all of you. It was very comfortable to, uh, to work with you. And we have discussed quite a lot of meaningful uh, definitions. We have been discussing connections and society aspects and community aspects. And I think that we feel as, we, as if we are a community of cultural 
actors who are uh, acting in different parts of the world, and we should understand that we are all interconnected. Now we can think about how we can create a new mutual reality. And uh, we are trying to create now, uh, nowadays, but uh, think about uh, future, uh, remembering about the past. So now we can be a big intellectual body and we can be together, we can be in this new reality. Uh, thanks a lot to everyone, and we will have more occasions to talk during these three days. I would also like to thank to uh, the participants who are going to uh, take part in discussion panels. Uh, thank to all of you who, uh, because it's great courage that you were able to join us, and I uh, wish us all fruitful work. И позвольте теперь, что я передам слово Саймону Дальфу из Арслинг. Thank you, everyone. So, good morning. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to this assembly, Greener Grass. Um, I'm delighted to welcome everyone, and I am really uh, thankful that you could make the time to be here. I know uh, for many of you, the voyage here is, uh, is complex and difficult, but I thank you all for making the time to be here. I really want to thank the curators who were just here because they did an amazing uh, job in terms of addressing what they saw as the issues and this need to bring uh, Ukrainian artists and cultural leaders uh, together. And this gathering, I think, is a, a very significant one to start to think about how we can address the future of Ukrainian culture uh, post-war. What I have to say is, um, we're here really under the worst imaginable uh, circumstances. When we proposed this idea of bringing everyone together, which was in June, we really hoped by then, you know, this, we're now nine months uh, after the invasion, we really felt that the reconstruction of Ukraine would be beginning now, and that artists would be part of that process of rebuilding civil society. However, we still seem to be a long way from an end to Russia's war, and the needs of the cultural sector in Ukraine are really already immense, not to mention reimagining ways in which artists can work, but also stay connected when they're, be, they're displaced within the country, and of course, uh, far beyond that too. But I think there's another, perhaps greater challenge for this gathering, for this assembly to reimagine how artists can be an integral part of the healing and the rebuilding of the very fabric of Ukrainian society. How can artists be catalysts for community dialogue and collective creative responses to Ukraine society's now immense and complex needs? For us, we sincerely believe that artists are our real hope, facilitating dialogue, building trust and cooperation, opening minds and stimulating creative thinking and positive action. This goes far beyond museums and arts buildings. They will get rebuilt as the capital infrastructure projects go uh, gain momentum and, and, and get put into place. But I ask for something much more critical and for me much more important from this gathering. I ask that we imagine and we begin to construct an infrastructure for living artists to live and work within neighborhoods and communities and to create a new ecology that can support civil society, sustain artists, and indeed help them to thrive. I think we need a new model that can place artists at the center of civic life in Ukraine and which also offers a blueprint for the rest of Europe and the rest of the world. Thank you all for making it here today. Um, I'm looking forward to the deliberations over the next three days, uh, and I thank you all so much for joining us. Please participate in the conversations. We created very long lunch breaks, not so that you, can, you need to eat so much, but so that there's time for you to connect and to network and to converse. So lunch is at one, uh, so please 
make your way to the castle. We have uh, two dining rooms there, uh, but then there's lots of time for networking and, and connecting. Uh, and the same over dinner uh, at seven each day. So I hope you can stay with us over the, these three days, and I look forward to meeting all of you. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs>